Uh, it says when to administer midazolam. So many of you will be familiar with that medication. Um, and um, some people have been advised after five minutes. Um, if an R20 person uh, is having five to six uh, seizures and they have a seizure uh, um, um, which lasts up to 20 to 40 minutes, surely you couldn't give it for every seizure um, and uh, because it makes them so tired and uh, so this person says they hold off giving it for that reason. So any comments from anybody on Thanks, the panel? Don. I'm going to put the question to Emma first and then the rest of us can, can add to it. Microphone for Emma. Thanks. Hi. Um, yeah, bacamodazolam is best given after five minutes because um, more seizures stop before five minutes. So it should, the seizure should stop. If it doesn't stop, you need to give it five minutes. If you leave it up until 10 minutes, it's much harder to get them out of that seizure. So give it at five minutes, and then um, if they haven't come out of it by the 10, you call an ambulance. Um, but definitely five minutes. But is that for all seizure types? So, or are you just talking about tonic clinics? Because many of our families experience multiple focal yeah, seizures. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so you get a care plan. Um, so that will be negotiated with your consultant and they will decide what is appropriate for your child. So if, if you haven't got a care plan, next time you go to your consultant, get that in place because they're the best person to advise you at what point you need to give it. Because you're, you're all individuals, your yeah. children are individuals, so it might not be appropriate to give it. What's right for one child is not right for another. So that's a very important point, that, that there are ge there's general good advice but then for each individual child, there may be, may be a bespoke plan. And what Emma said is really important. You need to explore what that bespoke plan is for your individual child. And for your child, how many doses are okay, how many are not, exactly which seizure type, and to work through that. Samir, do you want to add to any comment there, or Archana? Just that I think it has to be individualised for every patient, because I've had patients who used to use a lot of midazolam and they would have uh, three seizures lasting 20 minutes you know every day and then finally the family said well actually we give them midazolam <laughs> and she's going to come out of it anyway after 20 minutes and when I give them midazolam then she's really sleepy so she's no you know and she doesn't like being sleepy so we don't give it and the seizure just continue so sometimes not giving any medicine can be better option than giving medication. 